nanny berry, Viburnum lentago, and the Caprifoliaceae. We think of Viburnums typically as shrubs, but this Viburnum gets to be a fairly good sized small tree up to about 20 to 25 feet high. It's actually one of the more beautiful native Viburnums in the eastern United States. The leaves are very dark green in color, and in the fall they become a beautiful reddish to purple. It's one of the nicest native small trees for fall color. The flowers are not showing right now, but in May they produce a fairly large white cluster of flowers. It's a very bright white and that cluster of flowers turns into a cluster of fruits that are the reason for the name nanny berry and those fruits become very dark purple and they're quite ornamental as well because the stalk of the fruits is very bright reddish purple. The bark on nanny berry is rather distinct as well. It's referred to often as alligator hide like, like not quite as alligator hide like, like the flowering dogwood, but still rather blocky. It's often a multiple stem small tree or it can be a shrub, but it is fairly common in the northeastern United States. It does tolerate a fair range of conditions, including a fairly dry soil. The nanny berry, Viburnum lentago, and the Caprifoliaceae.